There seems to be a great awakening happening amongst the people of the world. For some time we can say this has been occurring, seemingly a quickening of sorts over the last half a decade or so. And although the powers that rule have tried to lead us away from knowing, confuse us and program us, turn us against one another and in turn lose the essence of ourselves, they seemingly have failed. To fully understand the awakening of the world, maybe we should look at the awakening of the individual and then compare that awakening on a larger scale. As always, macro micro exists within all, and what possibility there is for the human, there is also for the earth. If we take the human body and its meridians and connections, its chakras and bodies, then mirror that to the earth, we can see a fuller picture. For the earth, like the human, has chakras and meridians. The meridians, the channels of energy that spread all across the world. The chakras explained as spinning wheels of energy, unseen but agreed upon. And each chakra having its own property and purpose, working from the root to the crown, activating these chakras in the human result in amazing things. Again, the earth having its chakras, the same thing is possible. But this is dual in nature like all things. They can be manipulated and blocked as well as freed and released. When we look at the chakras of the world, apart from its clear resemblance to DNA and the hourglass, which both have higher meaning to show in terms of the DNA manipulation and time scale of a cycle. But alongside our told history, it's easy to see that colonists of the past went to all these locations and ultimately conquered them, took over controlling and manipulating the energy of these locations. Seemingly, this is what has happened, and as a result, the peoples of the world falling in consciousness, losing themselves, and falling into the trap of materialism via programming. Like a cracker, they pull from two sides to divide and make an explosion. For me, they not only attempt to stop us awakening, but awaken in the wrong way. Like a pop, forced, keeping us between the red and the blue, the two sides in nearly all things. Never rising to the crown, the crown seemingly missed. They give us six instead of seven, and we know why. However, the efforts that have been made to manipulate the energy of the world, the body of Mother Earth, if you like, have worked miracles for years. However, always missing people, unable to fully program them, make them lose their connection. And those people spread their consciousness, and that grew and spread far and wide seemingly now outweighing the program. Many people having experienced awakenings, leading us on to Kuladini Awakening. Simply a name that I've picked from many, but for me explains a process of activating no different from the method of the alchemist or yogi, just shown in a different way. If we consider this possible in the human, I speak objectively because truly I know this is possible and occurs, as I've explored it personally as you will know from previous videos. It means it would also be possible in the world, external from us, if done right, resulting in paradise, if done in a wrong way, causing negative effects. But when we look at the world, does it seem like there are signs of a great awakening? Most would say no. There is more corruption and evil in the world than ever, it is not the world we picture in a time of great awakening. However, those that have gone through awakening know the darkness that has to be passed to reach the light, the fight that must take place within oneself, the fire that burns. It is not all roses and daisies which people think, although it becomes that, to get there there is much darkness that has to be transmuted. When we look at the signs and symptoms of an awakening, it's easy to see how this relates to the world and its people currently, and the fight against that very awakening. People seem to be receiving great spiritual guidance and wisdom. People are receiving upgrades in terms of their ability to see and think, connect to the unseen and have great energy. The DNA is something that has always been manipulated, but COVID and its products seems to be something that 
halted the activation in an individual to ultimately manipulate them in a negative way. Whereas a lot of other people outside of COVID seem to have had a lot of DNA activation leading to better connection. For me, information seemingly available whenever I need from a unseen network of sorts. And if we go down the whole list, they all seem to apply. Even the cons apply, even though they aren't really cons. All my tree videos are about people reconnecting with trees and nature. That is no con wanting to be with nature and away from the program society that we currently live in. Most of us are called crazy or at times think ourselves we are. We think different, but for me, right? Is that a con? But still, all these things apply. We are currently speaking of Kuladini energy, which is dormant cosmic energy. But remember, name this what you like, the energy that sits within all things life force, awaiting to be awoken to release its full potential. Interestingly, when the energy is disturbed unnaturally, it creates a tremendous amount of heat in the body. And when we relate this to the earth and say the mining and the raping of the earth, we could see this as disturbing Mother Earth, disturbing the energy, and in turn, the Earth heating up. Essentially, having disturbed, she is now fighting back. The symptoms that are stated, intense heat or cold. We could see this as the fires of the world that have been taking place, or the intense cold in places. Involuntary body movements, jerking and tremors. We can see this as earthquakes and tremors and all other like things across the earth. Headaches and pressure may also be related to the earthquakes and like things. Racing heartbeats. Everything seems to be moving fast. As we know, it's a quickening of sorts in so many different ways. The digestive problems could be related to the lack of resources, which have been created due to ourselves. And the taking, but still the earth's interior seems to currently be a problem. All of them apply, even the mental confusion, animals and wildlife doing odd things, ourselves and humanity feeling it, nature and trees telling us. As when it is a perfect awakening, the body is harmonious and beautiful. And for a perfect awakening, we know many processes have to be undertook alongside right action and love. In the world currently, or even looking at our history, can you see right action or love? The processes that have been undertaken are the ones of evil and selfishness. Man-made rulers of the earth have set the direction. And if related to what the individual must go through, the processes of right action, if you like, have not been done around the world. So common sense tells us the actions that the leaders of the world have taken have led us on a cause which had two possibilities. A great true awakening or one which is manipulated and corrupt. The latter are actions shows we have taken. But still with this said, and what the world is going through, there is still great hope. Every individual has power. Imagine as a candle, and that candle can light other candles. There are currently many candles lighting other candles as we speak. And each time this happens, we raise the vibration. We make a change. We all know these locations have been manipulated, corrupted. And in turn, the people have also been manipulated and corrupted. But we can reverse that change the same way it came down to us. When we turn our back on materialism, break the programming and raise our vibration, ultimately that raises other people's vibrations around us, lifts the consciousness and then in turn affects the environment. It is we, the people, that have the ability to change our world. And in all of these locations around the earth, it is the people coming together that will make the great change. In relation to the chakras, are their names and sounds? We have Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Sham and Om, or Om and Ah. The last two at the top change slightly, depending where you're reading. Which brings me on to how this video was created, it happened by thinking about the black country Yam Yam. The term Yam in the black country is a verb used for I, we or you are. It occurs in the form as am, meaning I am or we am or you am. 
in rapid speech, sounding like you am, hence yam. For example, a say might be to a friend, yam great mate, meaning you are great. Also bearing in mind the importance and power of I am and yam being a version of that. Further to this, what is interesting is everyone knows that the heart chakra is in the UK, apparently Glastonbury. And as I've spoken about in the past, the black country or the Midlands is considered the heart of England. With this said, it adds even more evidence to the yam yam of the black country and their importance as a people. The word yam stemming from seed, associated with the heart chakra. Interestingly, the heart chakra is green, and as stated in the Black Country video, the Black Country was once a place of great greenery, great peace and beauty, until it was turned into a Mordor-like place as explained by Tolkien in The Lord of the Rings, with its blackened skies and pitted landscapes, ultimately changing it from a beautiful location into a corrupted one. And the people of the Black Country which could be argued in any location, of people of the heart, common people like those of the Hobbit in Lord of the Rings, often led by the compassion and empathy of the heart. And when we look at the mudra for the heart chakra, it is the Padma mudra, we can see a clear resemblance between the hand shape that is made and the three chains. Also the element considered alongside the heart chakra is air, in regard to the atmosphere and the air that we breathe. And everybody will know from our Black Country video that the Black Country was hugely polluted via air, via the chimneys of mills and factories, which made the sky black, literal black from the amount of smoke. So ultimately talking about the inversion in these places, the heart will be considered with air and the air was polluted. The energy being explained, I've said may have many names, prana, life force, many names in relation to the energy which is running through the realm into these locations. He can have as much money in the world, but he doesn't bring you happiness. I married a black country wench and I'm proud of it. Proud to be a black country. Hey, Alice. Hey, Alice. Hey, Alice. Cheers. A bit of fun. That's what it's all about. I'm going to have me scratching now. We you me scratching, Dave? Not me, mate. Yum, yum. <laughs> Now one of the most interesting things for me in regard to the black country dialect, it's not just the word yam, it's a whole variety of words which have been changed from the traditional English language. Now we could argue due to their common tongue that they don't actually spell. So as we all know when we're talking and communicating, we're actually spelling with our words due to the alphabet placement and the letters placement within that word. By changing the words and creating slang, ultimately we aren't talking the traditional English language, which for me means we aren't spelling. There seems to be huge power in slang. And when we look across at some of the words, for example, Jed, I've always looked at Jedi as in dead eye, simply because I see it as the dying of the ego and the connection to a unified consciousness. And when we look at the black country language, they actually use the word Jed for dead, highlighting the Jedi. And it wouldn't just be the black country, it would be any location across the world that ultimately changes the traditional tongue just slightly, meaning it doesn't work how it's supposed to. Now, as stated before, it's quite common knowledge that the heart chakra is meant to be in Glastonbury. And when we think about Glastonbury, what first comes to mind, generally, it should be the festival that is held in Glastonbury on a yearly basis. Huge amounts of people come, music is undertook, and great amounts of energy are generated in this location. Now, in relation to the heart chakra being in Glastonbury, it could be that it moved. It could be that the heart chakra actually affects the whole of the UK. 
so ultimately where these chakras are would indicate what needs to be done in particular areas. The UK having to work with the green heart chakra, other parts of the world having to work with different chakras. Meaning different people across the world are playing different parts. People in say Northern America will be working on the root chakra. Alongside the whole, people in South America, the second chakra, Australia the third, the UK the fourth and so on. This seems like a real potentiality. Now going further into the heart chakra and looking at the symbol used for the heart chakra and then placing that over some of the maps of the Midlands, we can see that the centre literally falls onto the black country. We can see that within the heart chakra if placed over the Midlands map, the same locations, the same towns which sit within the black country, which are Wolverhampton, Dudley, West Bromwich and other towns, all fall within the centre of the star. And remember there are seven chakras, with the heart chakra as the fourth and the heart chakra as 12 petals. I found it interesting that the West Midlands as a metropolitan county was established in 1974. We have the seven from the seven chakras within the day, and we have the four or the fourth representing the fourth chakra coming to pass in April, again the fourth month. And then in relation to the area code, everyone will know that the main one that is known within Birmingham is 0121. If we add 01, 2 and 1 together, it gives us four, again, the fourth heart chakra. Area also reminding me of arena, like in Hunger Games, how different districts have a different code, as in 1 to 12. We very much the same in terms of our counties in the UK or states in the US. Some of you may be shouting at the screen to say that yam is also a type of plant, an edible type plant very popular in Africa and the Caribbean culture, similar to the potato. But what caught my attention about the yam was the elephant foot yam. Now look at it, it looks just like a wizard's hat. And when we compare this to say Gandalf out of Lord of the Rings again, which was based in the black country, we see these types of hats. Also in Harry Potter, we could easily see that this is a wizard hat. And we can't leave out the fact that yam backwards is May. May the 5th month, also associated with the colour emerald green, which is the same colour, remember, as the heart chakra. May being the 5th month and the heart chakra being the 4th, creates 54, which is the amount of cubes in a Rubik's Cube, also the amount of playing cards with the two jokers included, and the number of countries in Africa. Now I thought I'd include this picture in regard to Dudley, this is one of Dudley's earliest maps, just to show people how the lay is hidden, and it could be Lea, Lee, Lay. There can be various ways in which this is hid. So Dudley, as you can see, came from Lea. Sedgley came from Lee. And this is a common scenario across the board. As stated in previous videos, any town, county, etc. ending with Lay, Lee, Lea are all highlighting a lay and a place of importance. And as you can see from the photos, Dudley, even in the 1900s, was a built-up, beautiful place with great architecture, just like the other places around the world. The architecture matching that of the Renaissance. Beautiful. Not forgetting Dudley Castle and the civil war that occurred in Dudley, ultimately destroying the castle. Again, highlighting it as a place of importance. But with all this said in relation to the chakras of the earth and the energy, how do we heal? How do we change? Self-improvement is the first way. Bringing the awareness and consciousness higher within oneself. Combating the darkness, understanding thyself. Learning to control the mind. Finding peace, harmony and balance within oneself, which ultimately leads to love and compassion. And when we ourselves have transmuted all the badness from ourselves, we can then spread that across to other people and the environment. We, like beacons, once clearing ourselves, can give off a much stronger signal for others to receive. And yes, we are fighting against the tide, yet to say, as the programming of society and everything that we face on a daily basis ultimately is there to take you away from yourself finding this power empowering others 
First, when empowering the self and finding the true self, we can connect to others because we see something similar, something we can relate to. Rather than seeing separate people, we see one. So the working on oneself to create the unity of others is the first step. And when in turn we change ourselves, we change others and the environment around us. Besides this, it brings me to a saying in the UK or in the black country again around the reeking, which I never really knew what it meant until I researched what the reeking was. And the reeking is one of the tallest mounts or hills in the West Midlands, I believe in Shropshire. And although many people from the black country use the term around the reeking, they don't know where it comes from. And it comes from a literal saying to have to walk around the Reekin, which is a long way due to the size of the hill. Now further exploring this, I come across something called Hands All Around the Reekin in 1981, where 12,000 people all held hands, connected and created a circle around the hill. Now, searching this online, you can hardly find anything, no pictures, no photos, there's nothing on YouTube. Such a big event with 12,000 people, you feel would warrant more photos, etc. However, there is not much. I asked myself, why was this done? And the effects of this happening. It reminds me of when I was at school and we all had to jump. When I was in primary school and we jumped and it was an experiment across the world. Now, these people holding hands, 12,000 people, creating almost a daisy chain around this hill, for me, would have had a huge effect. The power of the human and the power of the connectivity of other humans ultimately creates great power. No, I got it. Why don't we link up the batteries of all the cars outside here and then transfer the electrical current through a human chain and blow this mother open? But won't we get electrical coated? Yeah, we'll blow the batteries, but we won't get fried as long as the chain don't break because we're all wearing rubber sole trainers, innit? Trust me, man, I got a D in physics, you know? Wicked. I'll text them. Bringing me on to visualizations that I've had of myself as us humans holding hand, connecting around a tree, mountain, or of a light place, putting our energy directly back into that place, empowering it with love and positivity. And for me, something rings true about this that this may be a way forward to heal these locations. The power of many coming together, using their consciousness and energy to ultimately heal their surroundings. Now the environment does lots for us, it empowers us, it gives us peace, it makes us feel better. For me, it is now up to us to give that love, compassion and energy back to the environment by empowering our environment and ultimately empowering every single person. Connection is key. First, we must work on ourselves, and when ready, we must connect, and we will turn these places into great places of great energy once again, rather than the dormant, corrupted state that they currently sit in. Now for me, the chakras remind me of the Power Rangers and other like collections of colours through heroes. You, me, are ultimately these characters that play parts. People in America being in the root chakra, the red chakra, ultimately attached to desire, want. And the USA or North America, ultimately the creator of materialism, the creator of want and desire. The colour is fitting. People like Michelle Gibson and other great people 
in the North Americas are working upon not only the world's chakras as a whole, but individual chakras, which are just as important as the whole. Myself and other people in the UK being present in the green chakra, having much to play within the heart. Whether we are holding hands or not, no matter the distance, no matter how far apart, each person, like a light or candle, explained as earlier, of different colour and quality, all with purpose, you alone make a difference. Your vibration and what you spread, as explained before, words or spells, use them to do good, as well as your actions, for it is us who can change the world of tomorrow, and the acts of that take place now. Hey Chad, as I was watching your video about the earth in relation to the chakras, I noticed something. The sphere in Las Vegas, which is a $2.3 billion venue that was just built, is very close in relation to one of the North American chakra points. As I researched further, there are plans to build several more of these. And... In the map that I sent you, the points are very similar to the Earth Chakra, where they're planning on building these mega sphere structures. I believe to harness energy, possibly negative, which could impact ley lines that were ultimately there to help humanity not hurt or control it. It is up to us, you, me. Love and light this was a deeper conversation and I thank you for your time Now I say you love and light Never let the dramas of this world dim your light Never let the evils of this world tell your might They may be winning battles but I never win this war So for the time we walk in darkness hold your head up tall Love, light and peace to my strength to you all Love, light and peace to the warrior light Thank you.